Hello folks, this is uh, uh, paper 2 question. It is uh, 2018, May, June, paper 2, 3 and the question number is 3. It says that uh, a ball is thrown vertically upward, vertically upward towards a ceiling, ceiling here and then rebounds. So it rebounds from here as illustrated in figure 3.1. So this is the upward movement and this is the uh, movement after bouncing. The ball is thrown with a speed um, 9.6 meter per second. So here, uh, the initial velocity is equal to u equal to 9.6 meter per second. When it takes a time of 0 0.37 seconds, t equal to 0 0.37 seconds to reach the ceiling. The ball is then in contact with the ceiling for a further time of 0 0.085 seconds. So here, uh, the time of contact is equal to 0.085 seconds uh, while leaving it with a speed of 3.8 meter per second so after contact here uh, it leaves the uh, ceiling at a speed of this thing this much mass of the ball so this is m is equal to 0.056 kz so we have to assume the air resistance is negligible and then so question number a, uh, uh, in question number a we have to find that show that the ball reaches the ceiling with a speed of 6.0 meter per second so it means that the velocity with which the ball strikes the ceiling is this much so for this part of the motion for this part of the motion we have u equal to this much t equal to this much and the value of a equal to minus g that's equal to minus 9.81 meter per second square so the velocity here should be equal to so therefore v should be equal to u plus a t equal to it is a u minus g t it should be equal to so uh, or i can just use uh, like this uh, i can do like u plus let us say it is a minus g then t equal to u is 9.6 plus then minus 9.8 then t equal to 0 0.37 so its value is equal to now the value should be equal to 9.6 minus minus 9.81 into 0.37 so this is equal to 5.97 so it's equal to uh, 5.5.97 meter per second and it is approximately equal to approximately equal to 6.0 meter per second now we have to find the height here the height from here to here so this height should be equal to s equal to v square minus u square by twice a so therefore h should be equal to v is equal to uh, 5.97 uh, square minus u is equal to uh, 9.6 uh, square this is divided by 2 into minus 9.81 so when i do this uh, calculation the value comes to be equal to <coughs> this is square uh, minus 9.6 uh, uh, square equal to uh, uh, divided so it's equal to 2 into 2 into uh, 2 into minus minus uh, 9.81 bracket like this so it's equal to equal to equal to 2.88 meters so if i write it in a uh, 2sf it will be equal to 2.9 meters otherwise 2.8 meters is enough so it is 2.9 meters now we have to find uh, the increase in the gravitational potential energy of the ball first moving from the initial position to the ceiling so the increase in uh, gravitational potential energy is equal to mg into delta h so that's equal to m is equal to 0 0.056 into this is uh, 9.81 into 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 the change in height is equal to this h this h so it's equal to 2.88 and that's equal to that's equal to that's equal to into 9.81 into 0 0.056 and that's equal to that's equal to that's equal to that's equal to 
uh, 1.5858 joules nearly equal to 1.6 joules so it's equal to 1.6 now the uh, second question here is the decrease in uh, kinetic energy of the ball while it is in contact with the ceiling so that means we have to find the decrease in ke before of the collision here so here uh, the initial velocity is this much and the final is this so the change in ke should be equal to uh, delta in ke should be equal to 1 by 2 m into the initial velocity square which will be equal to this uh, 5.97 square so it is 5.97 square minus 1 by 2 m into into this velocity square so this is 3.8 so here we do not talk of this sign because uh, uh, in kinetic energy it is just the magnitude that is uh, important and not the sign so its value should be equal to uh, the mass of the body is uh, shown uh, somewhere here it is 0 0.056 kg so it is uh, into 0 0.056 inside the bracket it is uh, 5.97 square minus 3.8 square so it should be uh, equal to so 0 0.5 into 0 0.056 into into 5.97 square uh, minus 3.8 square bracket close equal to so this is equal to equal to equal to 0 0.594 joules so when i write it in 2sf it should be equal to 0 0.60 joules so 0 0.60 joules <coughs> so here uh, the next question uh, says that state how did a third law applies to the collision between the ball and the ceiling so here what happens is the force applied by the ball to the ceiling is the action force and the force applied by the ceiling on the ball should be the reaction and uh, these two forces should be equal to each other uh, each other and uh, as you can note that the action applies on the ceiling but the reaction applies on the ball so we have to write this so you can read yourself now we have to find the change in momentum of the ball in the collision so here the change in momentum should be equal to mass into change in velocity that's equal to mass is uh, 0 0.056 second and the change of velocity should be equal to initially it was this and finally it is this since momentum is a vector quantity we have to talk of this sign so if i take this as positive this should be negative so that's why we must have it is 5.97 minus one second minus 3.8 meter per second so i have to use a larger bracket here so this will be equal to 0.056 5.97 plus 3.8 so when i calculate it it should be equal to 5.97 plus 3.8 equal to into 0 0.056 and that's equal to equal equal to 0 0.547 uh, kg meter per second or newton second and that's equal to 0 0.55 nearby equal to <laughs> 0 0.55 if i write it in uh, uh, 2 sf so 0 0.55 now i have to find the magnitude of the force exerted by the ceiling on the ball during the collision mm -hmm. so what we have here is when the when the ball was ball was in air or in the space the only force was the force of gravity but during the collision one more force adds up which is the force due to ceiling force due to ceiling so that means the resultant force here should be during the collision should be equal to f resultant should be equal to force due to ceiling plus force due to gravity which means that the force due to ceiling should be equal to force resultant minus force of gravity and that's equal to <laughs> the resultant force should be equal to so what's happening here it is a delta p by time of collision minus it is m into g this will be delta p is a 0 0.547 and the time of collision is time of collision is given somewhere here so it is 0 0.085 second so it is a 0 0.085 second minus 
mass is 0.056 into this is 9.81 so the value should be should be should be should be divided 0.085 equal to uh, minus 0 0.056 into 9.81 so this is this is this is 5.887 newton so when i write it in 2sf it should be equal to 5.9 newton 5.9 newton so these are the answers to this question